to brand up, brand down mm -hmm. with Mr. Donnie Joich. And we're starting, Donnie, with LeBron's son, Bronny James. Yeah, big brand up for Bronny James. He's uh, graduating. He's, he's graduating high school. Um, he's committed to USC. He's the number 19 recruit in the country. They say in the next year's draft, he's projected to go number 10. And, you know, he also has the NIL. They say he's going to be worth $5.9 million. Obviously, college athletes can trade it in on their likeness. An extended brand up to LeBron James. What a great family. I, I mean, this guy has been in the public eye since, high, since junior high school. Not one blemish, not one scandal, and he's got the son to prove it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he said something really moving. He said he was glad his son was staying home. But he said he's also the first in our family to go to college, yeah. which I thought was really oh, cool. Yeah, LeBron, that's cool. LeBron obviously jumped right to the just NBA. If you follow him school. on social media, just just an yeah. amazing family. He is. All right, let's go now to Fox advertisers. What are they land? Yeah, brand up. You know, it's interesting. Everybody was saying about what a horrible business decision it was for them to get rid of Tucker Carlson because he's got huge ratings numbers. Ratings only matter to get advertisers, and he couldn't get any national advertisers because of his racism and so many of his rants. Now all of a sudden, Procter and Gamble is back. Scott's uh, lawn products are back. Um, uh, Gillette is back. Major advertisers coming back. So it's not was not necessarily a bad financial decision. Ratings only matter to get advertisers, and the advertisers are coming back. I, I've got to say, you you see media uh, reporters who don't understand the basic economic yeah. uh, of cable news. And it's pretty stunning. Everybody's looking at the ratings, the ratings. And you should. The ratings are obviously important. But you look at CNBC, mm -hmm. they, they, don't, they don't get a lot of viewers, but they get the right viewers, and they make a ton of money. That's all that matters. Uh, and, and so if you have the right people watching, mm -hmm. your advertising rates go up. And so instead of like doing like Glenn Beck, by the time he ended at Fox News, was selling survival seeds and gold bullion Literally. coins. And same, Literally. Same thing yeah. to Tucker. Literally. And the it. same thing with Tucker. So you get somebody in, everybody's going to look, oh, the ratings are down X amount. Guess what? Procter & Gamble doesn't care because you know what? They got the right people watching. That's it. They got their audience here, though. Listen, we want Procter & Gamble and BP. They want the Morning Joe audience. And they want the Fox News audience. They want the East Coast, the West Coast, Central Time Zone. And also, one other thing, too, that they just don't understand. It's like, at the end of the day, I mean, why have you had Bill O'Reilly leaving, uh, Roger Ells, who created this machine leaving, Tucker Carlson leaving, and it moves on? Because 75% yeah. of the income cable news networks make are from sub fees. Yes. And, and there ain't a, 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 a cable news system in America that is going to drop Fox News because of who's on or who's not on at 8 o'clock at night. So for Fox, you're exactly right. They're going to get the sub fees, and now they get the advertisers yeah. on top of the sub fees. This is actually, yeah, in the long run, a money-making venture for Fox. And on top of that, I'm going to even say six months from now, the ratings will be back where they were. Glenn Beck was irreplaceable. Bill O'Reilly was irreplaceable. Mike and Kelly was irreplaceable. The Fox audience watches Fox as a utility, and they, you'll see even the ratings. They back. leave, they come yeah. back. So, Donnie, the uh, AI is at the center of this Hollywood writer strike yeah. right now. Brand down. Brenda, this is gonna. This is the beginning of corporate America's kind of wrestling match with AI. Part of the writer strike is they want to protect, for instance, uh, actors from all of a sudden dubbing uh, foreign voices in their faces. I, I mean, in their in, in their speaking, they want to protect actors and writers from being replaced. And you can't fight technology. You know, you can't you can't use a labor union to say. We can't move forward with where technology is going. This is the first fight. By the way, advertising, copywriters, a lot of them will be replaced by AI. This is the world. This is scary, but this is where we are, and the writers are fighting an uphill battle. So, Donnie, I'm deeply concerned about this one because I am 43 years old. No and way. you say the age of 43 brand down. Yeah. Why? This is, Why? Why? This is the, the first year of millennials on. coming on. This is the first year that they say, that, according to research, that millennials this are 43. Is no, this is a, You're picking yeah. no, 43. A this, this is a specific group that they people. don't feel young anymore. All of a sudden, they're feeling aches in their joints. All of a sudden, they're feeling gray hair. I don't see any gray hair on you. You're great, you. John. Dude, you're looking good. But the good news for you is you have nine years until you start feeling old. The age when people start feeling old is 52, which I can't even okay, remember let, being let, let me just say this. I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about myself here for a second. I know I never do that, but I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I just turned 60 this year. Seriously, I'm in the best shape of my life. And by the way, 50s, you turn 50 and guys are like stupid. Right? It's the first time they figure out, oh, wait, I'm going to die. Mm. Women figured that out like a long time ago. So when you turn 50, that's all like really tough and everything. 50s are great, Lemire.
The 50s are great. And 60. I'll Come tell you on, what man. sucks, though. I 65. See, uh, 65 okay. just but, sucks. but you know what I'm saying, though. <laughs> 60 you, was great. <laughs> you turn 60, you're like, I'm fine. Like, 60 was great. I'm working I love 60. Out. I, I, for the first time in my life, I'm working out. I yeah. feel better than I've ever felt in my life. Got more energy than I ever had. Mika, can we confirm this? Is this true? Laugh. Yes. Yes. That's I heard a laugh. Right. Right. Coming, right. coming right. from. No, I'm just saying they're trying to depress 43-year-olds. I'm just doing what you say, baby. There's a long runway. Yeah. Are you talking to me? Okay. I wasn't talking I don't to Donnie Deutsch. Stop. Okay, you, we have to talk about this. You can't say that, but I There's will say runway? for the first time. Yeah, I can't say, say that. that. Oh, okay. It's a long runway. And mm -hmm. I actually I love 50s, um, 56 this year. I thought I was 57 for the longest time. Long story. Mm -hmm. But no, 43, you're a baby, Lemire. Oh, my and God. Joe, yes, it's true. He has been working out like crazy for the past, I'd say, Let's year, like maybe Blaine nine Johnson. months. Ne like never have crazy. before. Am I looking like, Look the, rock? Yeah. like the Rock? Much the better. Iron Did you do the eyebrow? Much better. No, no, you know, actually, you know, it's funny. When you're 43, you do it because you're like, I want to look like The Rock. When you're 60, you're like, I want to stay alive. <laughs> It'd be nice to be here. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's the motive. That's the motive. I also, I guess I got, I got, I still got a 15 year old kid. So like, I gotta, I gotta you know, keep up. Oh my God. Boom, boom. I moved to the studio. Gotta help house. Jack. If, yeah. if somebody, if, if somebody, if we're in the wrong part, you know, of like Nantucket <laughs> and somebody talks <laughs> trash about Willie's Sunday show. Yep. Jack's going into that crowd, and I'm nice. going to be wearing my yeah. duck head too? khaki. Boom! Wow. Boom! Get, exactly. I work the bag all the time because I know one day I'm going to have to defend your honor. In your Nantucket Reds. You In my pants Nantucket Reds. Yeah. But you know what, though? Socks. You know what, though? Socks. The great thing about those Nantucket Reds, I can left, right, left, right when they're attacking Willie's yeah. show. You start bleeding, nobody can see it. Because you got the Nantucket You're always thinking. I thought through it always all. Always thinking. No, but anyway, this 43 thing, I'm talking to y'all who are 43 right now. Oh, my God. You got a long runway. It's all okay, good. Okay, that's, that's good, Joe. But Donnie, that's you say it all breaks down no. at 65. No, 65 no, is, it just it falls apart. <laughs> 60, I'm doing push-ups, I'm running around, I'm, I'm doing 65 just sucks. So you're saying, <laughs> I, I want to tell you what there. you're saying. You got five years. I've got five years. You got five. My, my, cell, right. my dear friend, you have five. Let's talk in five. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Donna Deutsch, thank uh, you. I the rails think. went off on this segment, My by the way. God. We never got Every to all you can eat at Golden segment. Corral. Oh, all you can eat. No, this we have to do, Joe, because this is for no. you. All you can oh. eat places yeah. like Golden Corral yeah. and CC's yeah. through the roof. Oh, oh yeah. I love it. And come on. That's I think you should do a next remote from one of those places. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a remote one day from Barn Hills Country Buffet in Pensacola, Florida. I mean, that's how we pay Boston Red Sox players. We get them gift certificates, all you yeah. can eat to the buffet. It's doing pretty well for us this year, right? Yeah, I love the buffet. Okay, 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 okay. Cracker okay. Barrel. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm just can I just tell you. This is really important. Oh I just got to say one yes. other thing. And one other thing. Yeah. And this is it. I promise this is the last thing. But you're talking about Cracker Barrel mm -hmm. and food. I, I want to I beg the good people of Whataburger. Oh. Expand your territories, yes. okay? Yes. And the good people of Crystal, go north. Go south, go east, go west. Willie, it's like, come on, man. I, I need. I, Willie, I need, don't talk. I need. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You look at my food. Yes, ma'am. You look at my food pyramid. You got your your water burger. Mm. Yeah. You got your crystal mm. burger. You got your Popeyes chicken right there. Up top. Up top. Yeah. That's the food pyramid. Yeah. I miss Roy Rogers and their double R bar burger. They had a good one on the uh, parkway. You could pull into the rest they area. They still got a Royce? They Royce. Okay, nice. You can find them. Nice. Yes. Double well, R bar burger. Mika, back he, to you. He always flies his helicopter. <laughs> fly over low. The I fly low. Yeah, I, fly low. Yeah. I fly low. Yeah. I fly low. All right, Mika. Uh, you can start Well, I'm up. just going to say that uh, to, to really to wrap this up, nothing beats Shady Maple in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's a football field of food. That's mm -hmm. all I'm going to say. Say so no you more. Can take I'm your hungry. I'm going okay, to Lancaster.